Now, back to Steiny and Guru on 95.7 The Game. All right, Willard and Dibbs joining us. What's the uh, what's the bet? I like to hear about bets I'm not involved. Because <laughs> we well, got this two is, of them. These are the yeah. best kinds of bets. <laughs> these are the bets where people look at each other and go, Hey, what what did we bet? Yeah, don't doubt. Uh, and then and then you're able to access what you bet, and then you're like, what do we put on it? Yeah, nobody knows. Yeah. So this is a very comfortable yeah. bet because we don't know what the bet is, yeah. and we don't know what's on the line. But for anybody who cares with uh, with those uh, huge parameters in place, um, Guru believes, and I and I back him on yeah. this, that he and I and Dibs. Dibs and I bet him that the Lakers would not win a playoff series. Oh, my gosh. And you said yeah. that they would. No doubt. Yeah, right. yeah. But then maybe there's a stipulation. You know uh, what that would be, right? It would be a stipulation sensation. That's right. That uh, Daryl did. The bet is off if the Lakers don't even get into the playoffs. So if they lose in the play-in, it's just a it's Well, a that would be kind. Stoddy's over there looking like, yeah. if they lose in the play-in, sucker, you got to pay. I but thought I that was part of the bet, but I don't even remember what the hell I do inside. recall uh, us kind of extending an olive branch after his like his initial is. take, which was so wildly almost laughable. And Steiny, I think, did a good job of egging you on and, and pointing, out, no. pointing out that you were probably going to be on the losing end of it. And so I thought that we had agreed to broker it to where if they didn't make the top eight, the bet would be off. Okay. Uh-huh. I could be wrong. Uh-huh. Well, what if they make the top eight? And they don't win a series, then Daryl yeah, loses. Oh, what if they get it eight and but don't get into the like they lose in the play in? Well, no, no, yeah. you're not you're not technically in the final yeah. eight if you don't come out of the play. Oh, so you gotta come out yeah, of the play. You gotta, you gotta get a series, not well, just the one piece. I agree. I'm w- I'm with you, Stanny. I don't think that, that was part of the bet, but with nothing on the line, I don't really care. It was yeah, uh, okay. There yeah, you go. There you yeah. go. I it's believe like the, the KPIX. Uh, it was a drink that was on the line. A drink. I, yeah. Yeah. I think well, it was a, a drink in the right. cafeteria. Well, yeah, I don't yeah. care who wins. You can have a, a cafeteria. Drink. Can I share business. with you guys real quick? I want to throw a curveball. Um, something that happened to me last night. It means the Giants right fielder will swing and miss at it. But go ahead. Yeah. I knew a friend that took the Giants, but we'll leave that there. Oh, last man. night, just knowing that Snail was going to do his thing, and I know it really was his spring training game. Oh, he did his thing all right. It's not about the pitching or the defense. They're one for twenty-seven in four games with runners in scoring position. The the the, the names look they're better. They're more sexier. I know it's early, but Mark, I need to share Steiny and Dibs a tweet with you last night before I got bed. This is from Mark Willard. It's too early to freak out, but it's not too early to feel disappointed and frustrated. Yaz and Tyro look like they're guessing on every pitch. Bailey has concerns with all parts of his game. Tonight was supposed to be the start of something. Felt like a maddening continuation in Willard. If I were a teacher, I gave you an A+. Plus. For you to say that this early, I'm not going to say you were panicked, but I can appreciate that's what I saw. Yeah. What is going on with the bats or not happening with the bats? I, I didn't even I, throw Yaz in there. You, yeah. you left him out. Well, no, I said you, you, yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. Yaz and Tyro look, they, they they look lost. And Nick and, Ahmed is overmatched. Yeah. Well, Nick Ahmed's not a very good hitter, so that's. But he's a, in. He's your everyday shortstop, but so it does matter. Well, but he's going to hit ninth and be an awesome glove, and he's there to hit two twenty, and it's fine. Like I honestly, that doesn't even bother me. Okay, he's he's a younger version of what Brandon Crawford. Uh, has done what did last year, although that's even worse. Like he hit what? What did he hit? One seventy seven, yeah, something like that. So I, I and and that was kind of a you know emergency break glass thing anyway. When they realized that Luciano wasn't ready, I know their original plan was to let him start the season. <sighs> but um, I mean, Matt Chapman's hitting under two hundred too. I, I I don't know how to answer what's going on with the hitting other than that I can tell you like it, it it's still a, early. <sighs> Yeah, it's still early. Yes, it's still early, and that was only, I call it, one game. I know they've played 11, but the reason I said that last night was supposed to be a start of something is there's two things that were happening last night. For the first time all year, Blake Snell was on the mound, and you weren't playing the Dodgers or Padres. And that team that is in town right now, no disrespect, just kidding, let me disrespect them. They don't have any good players. They don't have any good players on their team. They have absolutely nothing. And you're still playing bad defense. You cannot situationally Well, Bailey's hit. playing bad defense. I don't but know. A lot of them are. Yeah. A lot of them are. They make a lot of mistakes. Even look at the Padres series, stuff they got away with, throwing the ball into center field on double play balls. Yep. and like their, comebacker. Their base running has been wonky. Like it has not been a fundamentally sound team. 
It's not a team that's putting the bat on the ball. Um, you know, the Blake Snell thing, and Grandy used that's this word last night, he's, it's right totally predictable okay. right. what he did last yeah. night. Totally predictable. He led the league in walks last year. Okay. He's going to be effectively <laughs> wild, and it's his spring training, right. and he pitched three innings, and, it, you know, it got, it got yeah. away from him a little bit. Whatever. Barely anybody hit the ball hard off of him. But the, the, the lineup, I, I, I don't know. We're all going to point to right field. It's deeper than that, and it's frustrating because it's too early to make changes, uh, but, it's, but it's too late to blow it off. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's the way I look at it. We're about to be 10% done in the season. They look awful. Yeah. How, how do you guys look at the stat runners in scoring position? Let's Because the way I look at it is, I don't know, it's something like you almost can't control. It's like scoring in the red zone in football. Yeah. Like, I get it. At the end of the year, if you're worst in the league in scoring in the red zone, you're worst in the league. But do the Giants do some? Do they, those teams do something fundamentally wrong? Like, are the, or, or it's just, guess what? The Giants don't have, you know, the Giants have guys who just aren't as clutch. One through nine well, by the end, let's say they finish 29th in runners. And it's like, oh, that's sad. I always something. wonder how, how much of that is just kind of not luck, but just, just a number. I think that there's a little bit of both. The Giants, Dibs will love this. The Giants have a very, very low BABIP. And their pitchers have a very high BABIP. Oh, man. For those who don't speak analytics, that is batting average on balls in play. Wow. And what it suggests is is that the pitchers have had a little bad luck and the hitters have had a little bad luck and that it will normalize. However, um, I think there's also something to be said about, for instance, the way Blake Snell pitches. He pitches when no one's on base very erratically because – He's going to take some chances. He's going to try to get you to swing at his pitch. Once there are runners on first and second, this is what Snell is famous for. He pitches right out of it right. because pitchers go, okay, now I've got to really attack the strike zone a little bit more. And when other pitchers, Giants get runners on base, and they attack the strike zone more, they don't hit it. They don't hit it. Yeah. There are too many guys that are swinging right through it or rolling right over it, ground balls right at people. So, you know. Even take a game like Sunday. It's like we all walk out of there like, sweet, they took two out of three from the Padres. They completely got lucky. They well, completely Sunday's got game lucky. was a gift. Yeah. Totally. Totally. How do you would, would, How do you look at that? Well, I think it's too small of a sample to really draw yeah. anything too dramatic in the early on. Like four games at home, one for 27, that's bad. And it's Man. that bad because nobody on your team, other than the guy who didn't play yesterday, everyone else is pretty much cold. Chapman's had some good ABs. Solaire's had a couple of home runs. So that'll but that's even about, out. The, it should. Right. Okay. I mean, as they start to hit closer to what they should be doing, and I, I wouldn't expect Yaz to have one hit every two weeks. If so, then you're going to make a change. But as you start to get closer to what your career averages would indicate, those hits with runners in scoring position, they will come around and they will go up. I, I think right. right now that stat is more reflective of the fact that nobody on the team really is hitting well other than Conforto. Now, I, I look at uh, Matos and Luciano, and I told you this before the season started, like they were the pods in Kaminga because they, they got their chance last year, but I thought there was going to be some infusion of, of some of that young talent. I'm not saying that's why they're struggling, but I do sit there and look at what the production through 11 games and right feel like. They couldn't do any worse than that. Like, is there any validity to, man... They can't even do worse than what you got going because I, I feel like Lamont Wade, who who's has a nice batting average, I just feel like I'm watching the same at bat over and over with Chapman and Solar. Like everybody's just swinging for the softball homer. I could be the, wrong. The, the Matos it thing, feels that way. The Matos thing might happen, but it's they're going to give those guys a month. Right. They're going to give those guys April at least. Uh, if they still have one hit combined, Slater well, and Yaz at right. the end of April, then sure. You know what I mean? The Matos thing is is there. there I, I don't think that they feel like there's any hurry there. My biggest concern is Patrick Bailey because because I got something for you. It's not just the throws. Um, I'm I'm he hearing was a wizard last year though. I, I'm hearing whiz, I'm hearing whispers that there are certain pitchers that have not loved the way that he's calling games. Um, I think that he runs the risk of becoming a very famous thing in Giants clubhouses, which is a body language guy. We, wow. we, we, how often did we talk about the Brandons? And we go, you know, when it's yeah. not going well, it ticks fans off 
when you Sulking. look like you're just yeah. like, oh, bleep, 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 yeah, bleep, 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 I'm just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm just yeah. walking through the field. Right. And I don't blame guys for that because you look how you look and your demeanor is what your demeanor is. But that could become a thing with Bailey because he has that same look on his face that Brandon Belt had for a decade. And, and so I this, heard Butch this morning about Tom Murphy. No shade at him. I, I got, I'm fond of the Pirates, but Joey Bart is playing his ass off. I know it's early. It's been eight at bats. They have it's got, been eight at bats okay. for Joey. Did they give up too soon? Or not? That's not time even. will tell. I, it's too early. He hit a home run already. Yeah, had a he double. had a big double. Yeah. I know he won a game. You know, yeah. he had a couple a big, runs knocked right, in. A couple yesterday. runs knocked yeah. in yesterday. He's had eight at bats, so he's had three hits. Okay, let's let's see how that plays out. Um, but if but, this Bailey thing is an issue, then may, did you? And, and and their bullpen needs to like that needs to. They're they're, they're 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 in search mode, which it'll come together. They'll figure out who they can trust. But right now, in the middle innings, the answer is no one. You're listening to 95.7 The Game, KGMZ, FM, and HD1 San Francisco. Always live on the free Odyssey app, Twitch, and YouTube. Powered by First NorCal Credit Union. Uh, you think Lindsey Harding is going to get the Charlotte Hornets job? She's a woman who coached uh, the Sacramento Kings uh, G League team. I don't, interviewed. but the fact that she is getting interviewed and it's not like Stop the Press is breaking news, I think that's a what? great sign. And, you know, Becky Hammond was long considered to be the first woman who would get a job as a head coach in the NBA, and now she's had a little bit of lightweight controversy in the WNBA and feels like she's going to you know, plot her course in that direction. So I would love for, for a female to get yeah. a job, a head coaching job in the NBA. I just don't know if we're there yet. I yeah, asked she's... Donnie, had Becky got a – can you remember off the top if she had an interview with the NBA club? I thought she had. We were I like, thought she had had an interview, and then she got the job with the Las Vegas yeah. Aces, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. She got interviewed by the Trailblazers. Okay, Portland. Yeah. So she Thank had you. one. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. You're no longer Chip. That was yesterday, and we, we were talking about. Uh, and I said, yeah, I thought he looked like a Chip. She so I was calling him Chip yesterday. Yeah. He's back to Mark. Not Chip. Right? Chip. No, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Got yeah. To. I'll tell you what. We should pat ourselves on the back today because you know one thing we we stayed away from for the most part was Draymond's tweet on Zach Eady. I heard you get you started with it. No, well, I heard right, you right off the top with no it. voice. You said you, needed, you said you needed help today because yeah. it made that you was mad. Foul, man. Well, no, I, I was that. just like, no, it was, was just interesting. Like, I, thought, I, didn't, I, I didn't even know about it. Yeah, there were no raised voices. Just, I can you what's believe he, he did like, the kid he, like that? Like, what's he doing? Well, well if you're gonna, of course you're gonna can. praise the Yukon kid who was guarding him, name check him. Don't say oh, number 35. Okay. You, you know what? That did happen, I, too. At first, I wow. thought he was talking about Kevin Durant, wow. who wears number 35. And then you, you talk about a guy man. who had, what, 34? 37. 37. 37. 37. He got tired, uh, but, man. You know what I that is? Trey, That's just, it's an easy telegraphed. It's Big Ten on Big Ten crime. I had That's Michigan it, State. Yeah, wow. That's another Sparty. I didn't even Sparty's go there. Sparty's coming after the Boilermaker. And he's taking a shot Gene at a Kennedy big guy. The yeah. yesterday. Oh, just yeah. a classic Draymond tough guy act. Wow. Well, and it also Captain Keyboard. There's another uh, commonality. I uh oh, Edie's from Can from Canada. Just oh. FYI. <laughs> Zach Edie. Oh, yeah, he's Canadian. Okay. So, so what does that have to do with it? Wiggins. So is Andrew Wiggins. No, what I'm saying is Draymond has a history of. Going after Canadians, not Americans. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, that's, that's he's got a list. That's Rudy Gobert. That's yeah. absolutely <laughs> positively out. there. Yusuf Val Nurkic, Valanchunas. not American. Yeah. Valanchunas. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Valanchunas. Uh, yeah. LeBron James. Crotch has been all over the world. Good point. Yeah, no. Good I point. Just, you know the the idea <laughs> I, that I made. No, I liked it. I, I listen, the joke. Not the, the, idea, I, the idea that Draymond Green. Yeah, that. I, yeah, but I, the I guy who yeah. said. Tabonte, I'm surprised you talk. Like, of course, yeah. you're, you, you, the word you, I just I just want to bring it up. The That's word all. you used is the word you used is accurate, but my and That's the all. word you used was hypocrisy. My my response to that is, I, I mean, are we not used to that by now? Yeah. And that's why but I didn't not get, in I the just, college so raise my though. voice. Like, everywhere. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. The kids played national championship. Hey, every, everywhere. Yeah. He quit. Like, Damn, Jay. You're 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 a leader. You're punching Jordan Poole. Yeah. You're you, you're on your podcast every week, ripping anyone who's in your way. And then you're mad at Bonte yeah. because he had an opinion Speaking on the radio. Speaking of which, it's it's constant, and so yeah. you're I don't know, like you you either 
I don't want to use the word accept it because that 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 sounds like you're giving it a pass yeah. or whatever. But I just I don't know. I look at everything with these warriors sort of like as I am watching well, it. Well, let in me a run this by you. Like it, it, it's, I just can't stand who he is. bullies, and they they've allowed him the license to do what he does. But the fact that he asked Clay Thompson and said he prefaced it before he, I I can take the answer. How do you feel when I get thrown out? Let's me know. You guys have never really had that. He should already know how Clay feels when you get ejected. Like, that hurt me. That he, cut me. If that was real, like, you should already. Oh, my good. Like, he really was like, Stiney, do I really, when I do this, does it? You should know. Oh, he knows. But he he basically was daring Clay to say it in a oh, microphone. I'll, no, that's, well, that's, so that's the even issue. To me, that's even more <sighs> weak sauce than anything. Yeah, if you want that answer, you ask it off the air. Correct. Yeah, Damn, correct. you ask it if off you want the air. Like, you know, if you want Clay to defend you and make it seem like it's not a big deal and prop you up for the tough guy that you are, you ask it on wow. the air. That's exactly what that was. Yeah, Draymond, yeah. Green, is, great Draymond Green is a savant when it comes oh, no to doubt. the electronic and the spoken word media. He knew exactly the response he was going if to get. If you wanted the real, you would have asked me right. without the mic. Right. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, and I, there's no rant and raven. We didn't spend 10 minutes on oh. it. But, like, in one of the, and you're saying, well, what do you do? I mean, it's Draymond. There's acceptance. It's not quite acceptance. But, by, well, what you do is you say, huh, here we go again. You know, the, the guy, the guy who, Quit on his team in Orlando, and the guy who said he can't get up for games in March, and the guy, um, you know, who, who got suspended for twenty five games, cold cocked a teammate, he, derailing a whole season. He's he's the guy who's now going to call somebody of the word that he would absolutely lose his mind over. So, but the the war, the Warriors yeah, have I can leave it there. But the Warriors have repeatedly through the years decided that they would rather put no up doubt. with that and have him play uh, than not. Right. And and where I am, as someone who watches it and then shares conversation about it, is if the goal is to just be as good at basketball as you can, then they're right. Yeah, no, they're this, right. And there are a lot of people on sports teams who wow. do a lot of worse stuff than Draymond Green. Right. No doubt. And teams still go, give me that contract because that guy can play. You know what I mean? To like me, that's that's well, that's part of the deal. To me, this is in a way separate from the Warriors because it didn't even deal with the Warriors. But again, you know, the guy who took the season off when Steph got hurt, hmm. the guy who is constantly in and out of the lineup because of suspension, and the guy who says he can't get out of bed in March, like he and the guy who gets got so mad when people question his dedication, huh? Okay, there he goes again. He's the guy who's going to deem Zach Eady a quitter, wow. and I'm going to pinpoint the exact time. Man. Come on. That's all. Yep. No yeah. raise voice. And need him tonight at 7 o'clock. Speaking of which, yeah. how big I are I mean, the... not really. <laughs> yeah. Well, how big is this game to you two, though? This game is almost, it's not the least important this, game of the year, well, but to me, it, this game doesn't matter. I, 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 meant, I, meant, I meant any game. Oh, sure. Like, yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah, and and by the way, yeah, let me address that right off the bat because I got in the car and caught a stray this morning right before you guys came <laughs> on. Oh. Well, Bonte ended his show with, don't listen, listen to Willard. We're not punting this game. And I'm like, I ain't. Oh, boy, I'm like, I you missed know what? it. I, no, that's it. I now know the title of my autobiography wow. whenever I write it. Misunderstood. It, no, I didn't say that. Oh. That's going to be the title of my book. I didn't say that. But I get it. I understand what gets repurposed on social media and the way that everybody just, you can interpret it the way you want. Dibs, you know, because we actually had the conversation. Did I say punt the game tonight? No, you would have used the phrase Wishnowski, and I did not hear Wishnowski come out of your mouth. There was no Wishnowski. Because you could get to nine, technically, if you win this game. No, you try to win the game. Uh, Okay. Um, Separately from that, the likelihood of Uh, the way uh. these chess pieces all fall is that it would be better if the Warriors didn't play the Lakers in the play-in There's tournament. There's nobody watching. But I don't know if winning otherwise. tonight or losing tonight firms that up either way. It seems like Sack losing. Got a game in OKC. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. seems yeah. like yeah. losing tonight probably <laughs> makes that more likely. But they won't But quit. you don't yeah. do that. No, you don't do that. You don't try to lose yeah. tonight or punt or you, any of that stuff. I think you try to win on your terms, huh? which is... Keep Steph at 30, 32. Correct. Yeah. See yeah. if Agreed. the young guys can oh, can help you win the game tonight. 
And if you win it, then you start thinking about Operation how far rest. you can move up. If you can move oh, up, right. depending on what sack in the Pelicans. If you do. lose it, I think you get into Operation no, that, Rest. That's no, what no. I, that's what I yeah, thought he was If you going. win it, then maybe you get the nine. And if yeah. Sacramento loses, now you're only a game back. Really two Man. because of the tiebreaker. But the chance to pass them is much more possible because they still have New Orleans and they've got yeah. uh, another team that's playing for something. Uh, I think they got the, at home. Don't they have the Lakers again? Sacramento? No, they got the tiebreaker. No, on them. Oh, they shoot. got New Orleans, Portland, and it's one other team. Who's Oklahoma playing. City. They're in Oklahoma they City play play tonight. It. New Orleans, yeah. Phoenix, and Phoenix. Oh, Phoenix. Oh, Phoenix. Well, thank yeah, you, no, thank man, you, Mark. Those are the, the, and they may need the game. So for a month, we've all thought it was going to be Bron and Curry. Could you imagine at the end it ends up sacking the Warriors? That's a win going I, into that. I, I, and then I'll drive you then to Arkham, just, and I, uh, a golden one. And I think that's equal in terms oh of, of how compelling it is. Like the energy around either of those games <laughs> is turned all we the way up. We can end your season again up his sack. Yeah. No, oh, I'm God. just saying. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and Malik Monk, the warrior killer. Not there. Herder. Will not be yep. there. Yep. By the way, you guys got Michael Thompson coming up at three oh, fifteen. I got it. That's must Man. hear radio. No, no. Three fifteen. Yeah, we like. There's you know all champagne the and nuts all the clay. Oh, that's right. Champagne yeah. and nuts. You know what that's from, don't you? No, I don't. No, this this the weird, hotel lobby. This weirdo. If you ask him, like you sit down for a big game, what food do you want in front of him? Champagne and nuts. Well, that's how you stay skinny, though. Yeah. He is skinny. <laughs> Not hot leaks. <laughs> Seven feet tall. Helps. Hey, hot leaks with cheese. Yeah. 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 All right. the, the bag has been on the shoulder for like yeah. two and a half minutes. Oh, no, yeah. 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 Very good. Yeah, I got to get going. All right, yeah. gentlemen. Uh, have a good rest Movie of the show. Michael right, Thompson, 315 on 97.5.